All right, all right, all right. So it is 2003, and I have added Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant into the draft class alongside LeBron, D. Wade, Mello, and Bosch. Let's see what will change, which also means that I removed Kobe Bryant from the Los Angeles Lakers, and the residual effect it had, they didn't make the playoffs instead of having a finals appearance. So, I mean, look at the team. For the love of God, they're like seven best players. Kareem Rush. Yeah, that's it. We're going to see how everything changes. Real quick, I have to make the biggest announcement in my career thus far. I'm officially going to be debuting in the art form that I have the most respect for. Hourglass, an album by Click, will be released releasing very soon. Follow my social medias for more updates if you want them. There will be more videos on YouTube as well. Also, if you want to know if the album's actually good or not, here's a few of my friends' reactions when I played them a few songs. Pause it now. Pause it now. That's probably one of the best songs on. That nigga I, click about the no, no, play anymore. Please, please, for my sake, like, click please have to throw the all the books please, away because I ain't got the heat like that. Please, I, I, I please, ain't gonna tell you what's coming. Please. Here's a few muted reactions for confidentiality purposes. But yeah, as a human being, this is my favorite thing I've ever created. So I hope you'll enjoy it when the time comes. The hourglass is coming. So yeah stay tuned the draft lottery lakers oh my god they were that bad all right well will the lakers get the first pick they do so the lakers will have the opportunity to select can i see what their record was 29 and 53 tied with the nuggets for the worst and i did not see what pick denver got so we'll see how unlucky they were first pick the lakers select lebron james about you know two decades earlier so they they swapped kobe out for him michael jordan goes second to the bulls wow i did not realize how that was gonna go the third pick kobe bryant goes to the blazers so yet again uh jordan you, you know blazers go go close near near jordan in a draft whatever screw it Third, fourth pick Dwayne wade gets picked instead of mellow to the nuggets fifth pick Melo goes to the jazz It'll be a nasty carl malone land and the next pick the grizzlies get chris bosh boris Diaw, of course better than all of them so the pistons really lucked out there Shaq wins most viable player next to lebron who won rookie of the year i mean obviously he had the most opportunity the team sucks outside of shaquille george carl coach of the year lebron made the all nba second team in his first season and nobody else did but jordan didn't make all defensive so right after losing Mike to both the Wizards and retirement, they're just right back. And they are the first seed. The Bulls are the first seed in the conference. They were 32 and 50 last year. This year, they are 58 and 24 with the addition of Michael. And that's really, it looks like the rest of the team is the exact same. Nobody else in the East made it, but the Lakers, Memphis, and Denver, which is D Wade and uh, Chris Bosh and the Grizzlies also made it. I'm pretty sure Ron Artest just signed here. He was not here in real life. Yeah, he left Indiana for this team. With him plus the addition of Chris, he had definitely made makes sense of their second seed yo yo before we go any further into this video i want to shout to prize picks prize pick is the best place to play daily fantasy sports is available in over 30 states if you use the code click you can get 100 back up to 100 dollars of your first deposit so as always let me show you how this works i was hoping donovan mitchell played again today i know he just dropped 70 i was trying to go you know for more on him but i guess not all right in a real quick quick recap look at this this is the entry i showed you last time and the one after that so yeah yeah definitely doing a big out here let's not overthink this christian wood has scored 19 in every single game let's go christian wood more I feel like marcus smart can get 10 points just a random guess i'm feeling 27 and a half for john moran as well he's playing orlando they're not good i don't care who he's playing this is the easiest thing i've ever taken in my life dylan brooks two turnovers that man be just i don't know out there i'm gonna go with luka Doncic to get eight and a half assists that's a light five right there you put 20 dollars down you get 200 you put you know what i'm saying you could also get 40 if you get four correct yeah, thank you to prize picks for this video everybody use the code click and click the link in the description to get up to 100 back 100 of your first deposit and now to get back into it and jordan is instantaneously just down 3-0 does he bought it he has came back from down 3-0 to 3-3 against the 76ers Iverson and Allen Iverson just blew a whole 3-0 lead to Mike he shot 6 for 15 Jordan took going down 3-0 oh man here it goes personally he took it personally all right Braun is currently down 3-0 to the Spurs he about to do the same thing hell no Lakers lost Bulls lost Gilbert Arenas and the Grizzlies also just blew like a 3-2 or a 3-1 so there you go all three teams just got washed and Washington loses to the Spurs Tim Duncan Carl Malone of the Clippers retired Dang, is, that, is that a fake Tyson Chandler? Because that actually looks very realistic. I don't care about contract editing. Can I? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is definitely not a fake Tyson Chandler. They just, uh, it's just a young version of him. LeBron's already at 90. Gilbert Arenas has joined the Denver Nuggets alongside Dwayne Wade. Kobe's an 88. Jordan's also a 91. Osh is only an 84. And Melo's an 85. LeBron James wins most valuable player in his second season. Is Shaq still on the Lakers? But I, I saw a center. Hold on. Go back. Uh, That's Dwight. There's Mr. O'Neal. Yes, 
he is, and he averaged 26 and 12 still, but LeBron is already a second year MVP. Dwight's on the Knicks. He's wearing 52. What kind of ab abomination to the world? Shaquille Sampson. Who the hell is that? Lucas Lucas. That is not the Lucas Lucas I know. The Lucas Lucas I know, I'm pretty sure, is just LD2K. LeBron and Jordan both made the first team. Wayne Wade made the third, and Dwight already made the third. And all three of them made the defensive second team. The Grizzlies. Chris Bosch's Grizzlies are the first seed. LeBron's Lakers are the second seed. And D Wade's Nuggets are the third seed, whereas Jordan's Bulls are the first seed. I feel like we're missing. Wait, yeah, wait, where's Kobe? I didn't know. I, Mello's just Mello's team is not here, and Kobe's Blazers are not either. The Jazz won 33 games, and the Blazers won 36. All right, screw it. Simulating past the first round. The Lakers got washed. The Nuggets got out of here. And both first seeds, Memphis and Chicago, make it to the conference finals. Michael Jordan will be playing in his second season. This very stacked looking team with Karolenko, Steven Jackson, Jermaine O'Neal, Carlos Boozer. And the Grizzlies will be playing a team that is probably worse than them, than, than them but still solid. Also, the Lakers got 4 1 in the first round by the Suns. Wait, uh, oh, the team that they're playing right now. And we have a finals matchup, which is kind of anticlimactic of one, but screw it. Chris Bosch versus Michael Jordan. It is 113, 112, now 114 because Eddie Curry hit a free throw. Hallelujah. Why is why is Michael Jordan sizing up Ron Artest look like this? This actually looks like something that Michael would do. Look at the, hold on, hold on. Look at this. Look at this. Ron and Mike walking to each other, right? Knowing that it's Ron Artest as well, he, sh he just shoves him to the side and Ron just stands there and takes it. But then look at this. He turns back around and does it again. I'm going to just let the whole thing play out right here. Watch this. Boom. L little shoulder shrug. Oh, right back around him. Same exact thing. That is that is insane. Me personally, Jason Williams going to pass it down low to Chris Bosh. And Bosh is going to dunk it down for the first play we see from him. Very impressive young man. Michael Jordan coming back up the other way. Jeffrey who hitting some weird between the whatever the hell moves. And the hop step around Ron Artest. Right after he was doing a little shoulder shrug on him. He just hit some with the entourage of moves. Let's just watch the whole play. Screw it. Yep. Around him. Ah, hop step. See you, Ron. Great defender, but not there. Jason Williams back up the other way. And the pass down to Chris Bosch for another dunk. You know, he, that guy's pretty decent at passing. Michael Jordan around him to the basket. Puts up an awful layup. And oh my, what? I'm, I'm like semi not surprised because, you know, you know what the game of playing. But still, Jason Williams couldn't get, get it down to Bosch. So he's going to ISO and go with a spin to the basket. Nowhere. Back out to Ron. Ron's going to pass it out to Shane Battier for three three and that is off rebound by oh it's by the bulls they got a two-point lead with a chance to make it four and pocky or whatever this guy's name is is hitting the worst spin of all time down to tyson chandler tyson he's got a cutter right there pocky come on dog he's about to get a three second violation okay he brings it back out i don't know what this play call is michael jordan is sitting in the corner and this dude pocky pulls up it's off but the rebound by eddie curry and that might do it they just blew their one opportunity of the bulls not giving the ball to michael although eddie curry does miss an 83 percent free throw the second one is also good or well they, you know whatever you get it Shane Battier back out to Jason for three that's off rebound by Shane again back out to Jason another three it's off again what a what a stinker of a final two shots it wasn't that Jason and Jordan Green's the free throw that is it so that was our uber intense game between the Bulls and the Grizzlies and uh, Michael Jordan had 17 to Eddie Curry's 23 him and Eddie Curry on the same team especially during Eddie Curry's down days would be terrible I read some very sad stuff happened to Eddie Curry during that time where the whole league was clouding him though which that's how it usually goes to be fair so shout out to eddie curry as the grizzlies gonna lose again to the god eddie curry although oh wow chris bosh had 38 on him but jalen rose 29 and michael jordan also 29 let's just see if that's it the bulls go up 3-0 and 3-1 4-1 michael jordan is a champion in his second season so you guys have been saying oh yeah you know lebron playing tougher comp well uh i don't know if mike agrees want to ring faster than any of the stars from that class did and he's in the class with him nick's got the first pick again so they're about to draft another player next to dwight which you would hope is uh, probably this guy named Christopher. Yep. All right. Dwight and Christopher Paul. Dwight's a very cool name. Do you ever like think about NBA players' names and think about them into re relation to non-NBA players that you know? Like, like for example, you ever think, which well, this one isn't terrible. Like, it's not like, I don't know, an awful name. But you ever think about like Patrick Ewing? Like Patrick Ewing sounds like a pretty cool name. But then you think just Patrick. And like just now doing that, I made the relation from Patrick Ewing to Patrick Starr. But I've never done that in my entire life. Like just because the last name makes you sound cool and then the fact that you're in the nba and you're seven feet tall but most of the like the top 10 nba players all have pretty cool names like i mean obviously magic faked the name his name's not magic but lebron kobe jordan hakeem kareem well even lou isn't that bad lew that's kind of nasty but it wasn't that bad you got larry steph isn't that bad although every white mother across america at one point called him steve at least uh, i had like a couple friends that did that oh and then there's this guy this is the only one he's the only one with a lame name in the, in the top 10.
then it's just Tim. Even Wilt is cool. Like Wilt, but then Wilt sounds reminds me of, but the, like literally, you did you know that the character from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friend, Wilt, is based on Wilt from real life? Except he just doesn't have one arm. And I think they they made a they made a backstory episode where they showed how he lost his arm. Hey, Chris Paul, Greg Popovich, Coach of the Year. Well, I guess that you know Tim's team is doing all right. All right, this also has to be the stupidest spelling ever of Dwayne. Just so dumb. I, I, did they have like an? Uh, no, not. I was about to call it anorexia. No, I meant dyslexia. Yeah, that. Um, I think I have dyslexia for words. Not actually. I just meant mixing up words with other words. Shaquille. This man's name is Shaq. Dirk. Paul. I would give one piece of advice to everybody who's watching this. I don't care if you're like the seventh in the bloodline. Don't name your kid like like just a default name. I'd rather you name your kid an anagram than name him Steve. And yes, you might be named Steve, but that's not a, of your offense. You could fix the generational curse, Steve the fifth. The hustle and bustle, Mr. Beast Watchers gotta hate me. I go on five minute rants about names. Lakers got eliminated again because they suck, but uh, Jordan's back and so are the Grizzlies, even though they weren't the first seed. Granted, the first seed lost in the first round. That meant Tim was not about it. It's because the name is too lame. The Grizzlies also lost, but Jordan's back again. Who is he playing this time around? It's Jay Williams and Jason Richardson and Antoine. Antoine, Antoine, whatever. I'm not gonna lie, we already know it's a foregone conclusion. Michael Jordan, another championship because I said so. There it is. 95 overall, Jordan averaged 40 points per game. Uh, not one of these games was even close so i don't regret clicking simulate average 33 in the playoffs as a whole dropped 53 in one of the games in the finals which is higher than his career high so he really just showed up on the biggest stage yet again and Shaq dropped 60 again like how he did on his birthday that one time so far everybody pales in comparison to michael especially because the bulls aren't even that good i mean actually now they are because tyson got good lebron james most viable player yet again chris paul won mip and bill cartwright's the coach of the year michael jordan lebron james and d wade and Melo all made the all nba teams okay uh as, as far as i'm concerned every single team made the playoffs we got a uh, kobe or no this is a uh, d wade's playing chris bosh in the first round i just realized that it's a one to six split which should mean that it would actually be a lesser chance of jordan making the finals yet he's made it twice the grizzlies got smoked and every other team's still alive so we got a whole entire matchup of our teams on the left side braun versus wade and uh kobe versus mellow just click the button and see if any are close the lakers were able to get the nuggets out of here and, and clean four games and the same goes for kobe and zach randolph getting mellow out of here in four and five games got michael jordan versus 99 overall tracy mcgrady some that mike hasn't even reached himself yet and kobe against lebron and Shaq. to be fair not like they have any history or anything good two on the right side the magic take a three two lead and it's three to three and lakers have been eliminated kobe bryant will have a chance to play either mike or t-mac in the final and michael jordan as t-mac's team just did not score for the past like minute or something he had 30 but they lose to jordan 17 6 and 6 and eddie curry yet again with 20. So the nba finals kobe against jordan the one-on-one -on -one matchup teams are pretty similar although mike's is definitely a little bit better first game is gonna very easily go to kobe bryant by nearly 20 points he had 26 and 13 himself to jordan's 27 and 9. second game after i said that about mike he came back and won with 31 points to kobe's 19. kobe is gonna win another game just barely 36 from mike a 3-1 lead for mr bryant oh michael coming back still with a triple double by the way i think zach randolph has led kobe's team in scoring almost every single game so that's his new shack i guess big body i was about to say will we actually get a close game and the answer is no screw it i oh my god i jumped in for screenshots for the thumbnail and uh well luau dang's got the basketball all the way on the break and one oh my you know it's funny i know they're not even on in this era in the first place but someone mentioned me on like instagram or something the other day and it was like an old school throwback video and they were like oh hey, hey click they forgot to turn the era filters on i saw you jesus jay williams on another team missing threes so kobe bryant has dethroned michael jordan in this game he heard me he had 37 points and zach randolph at 11 jordan had 26 and kobe has earned his nba championship the two players i've added have won rings before everybody else and zach randolph won finals mvp man found his shack again bron james wins most valuable player right wait i already said that Ron durant wins rookie of the year we're already at that point uh ron artest dpoi 66 wins from george carl which means that the nuggets should have the best record unless he's not the nuggets coach and we were like maybe he wasn't the nuggets coach at that time anyways i don't know saw him earlier and i don't think d wade's team has ever been the best yet got three of our dogs on the all nba first team i don't see kobe but i do see Melo. oh is he the coach of the bulls he might he might be the bulls coach yeah, he's got to be the the spurs only got 56 wins so uh it looks like every team made the playoffs again screw it click the button nuggets have been eliminated they were the eight seed jesus the jazz and the blaze as well so kobe is not going to be repeating jazz lost to lebron so uh Melo lost to Bron, but you know, valiant effort. I mean, not really. You lost by 40. And Jordan just barely made it out of the first round. So good for you.
you. Second round, the Lakers get eliminated by the Memphis Grizzlies, who is uh, Chris Bosh's team. They they were able to take out LeBron. Now we got Chris Bosh and Jordan looking to make it back to the finals again. And the Grizzlies lose in seven games to the Spurs. So Jordan is back looking for his third ring with Corey Cousins, Jerry Stackhouse back with Mike again. And the 90 overall Tyson Chandler against Yao Ming. But Tim Duncan's not on the Spurs anymore. He swapped places with Yao Ming. I don't know if they swapped, but shoot, Yao took his butt. They lost the first game, won the second one, lost the third, won the fourth. Good back and forth series. And that's it. I was going to jump in if it went to game seven, but you know, Mike's been dominating. Thankfully for our sense of regret, none of these games were even close. And Jordan had 38, seven, seven with three steals and five blocks, only seven missed shots and one missed free throw in the final game, game six, you know, game six, Jordan, he don't go to game seven, although he, he just did right here. Jesus, he lost two teammates right here though. Two rotational pieces at that. That's what happens when teams are good though. They just pick up old guys to play for a season, then go get some more the next year. The 08 draft, D Rose and Westbrook go one and three. Tim Duncan of the Miami Heat wins most viable player. Westbrook gets rookie of the year. He looks pretty cool in the Suns jersey. Feels like something that I've seen before, even though I haven't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they did photoshops when he was about to get well, that wouldn't make sense because it was like 10 years. You know what? Actually, he just looks like Sean Marion. Like with the zero and everything, it's just giving you know, it's it's giving. It's giving Sean Marion. I'm sorry. BPOI LeBron James, Andrea Barton, Yanni the God, all NBA first team. Um, Michael Jordan and LeBron James make the first team, second team, third team. Who cares? We're trying to go to the playoffs. Kobe's team is the first seed and the Utah Jazz have been eliminated already. Melo is out of here yet again to Braun, by the way. The Nuggets are also out of here. The Bulls are out of here and the Blazers. Chicago was the sixth seed this year. And I guess them uh, those losses they had of role players must have hurt them too much. They lose to, oh, never mind. They lost to Dirk, Iverson, and Peja, and Hito. Hito and Peja are just like the same guy in different fonts. Like every time I think about one, I think about the other. Uh, Lakers are playing Memphis in the second round so we're about to lose another team right here and it is going to be the lakers make it so will this be the year that lebron finally gets his first ring he will not have to play jordan and he makes it to the finals so we're gonna have like a, a kobe braun thing where they never play in the finals him and mike he's playing tim duncan and he's about to lose is he about to get swept to tim duncan in almost the same year as in real life Shaq only has a only had 11 points seven assists on five for 10 shooting whereas lebron had 52 in this game and he put up 63 at some point in this season she did not win mvp and the mvp is the one that's cooking him on the other end of the floor yeah, that was for sure his best game of the uh, I think the playoff run probably so far. Yeah, he did have 51 against Melo once though. Tim Duncan though, I just saw also does have Amari Stoudemire, but wait, it's 3-2. Oh my, here we go. About to make a 3-0 comeback or or not. I don't know. I might've just jinxed it up. Oh, it's a, wait, it, it's still over. That was a crazy last second comeback though. Actually, it's it's not over. It's not, a, it's a three point game, 113 left. There goes nothing. Uh, LeBron is in the game. You see him number 23 over there guarding. I think that's Mo Peterson, Jamal Crawford trying to cook and he is not cooking anything. He's going to miss that layup. Mo Mobley's got it. I'm going to assume that's Catino up to LeBron. LeBron with a little hezzy on the right side all the way. The floater blocked by Duncan. Who is that? Satterfield? Satterfield passing in the ball. He's going to probably go to Shaq right next to him. Hopefully Shaq doesn't walk out of bounds with his big feet. He does not. He gets it back to Bremer. Bremer's going to give it down to Shaq against Duncan. Shaq not really getting any room here. He's going to have to uh, force something. I don't know. Back out to Bron. Bron. LeBron James, the little floater shot, and that is good. That looked like an NBA Live shot. If you've ever played NBA Live, that's an NBA Live animation right there 35 seconds left and tim duncan who is he being guarded by who is that? is that a foul too oh wow you you are garbage tim duncan with his feet inverted hits the free throw lakers now put themselves in a four point hole and an awful pass and that is it that is it the miami heat off of that dude for some reason guarding tim duncan why is there why are they showing tim duncan stats if jamal's at the line you know what? we'll let it rock that is gonna do it it's over 117 109 win and lebron loses his first championship with tim duncan yet again what are we gonna do without Derek fisher dang he retired this early I, didn't he what, what year are we in 09 i feel like he stood around until 2012 13 2012 yeah well i'm pretty sure the knicks hired him the year he retired which was like 2013 or 14 so you know dark memories look at tyreek evans steph curry goes number one to the celtics jack is real old and musty he is an 84 overall as lebron is 24 and just in the midst of his prime also d wade got an old jason kid lebron james there we go hey griffin wins rookie of the year again except he wasn't injured for a whole season Season with his no knees all right first round of the playoffs and the bulls are out of here the grizzlies are out of here and that's it our other three teams as the bulls are oh, the bulls with the eight seed obi is playing mellow yet again and lebron is playing the warriors obi's gonna 4-1 mellow the hell up and out of here so we're gonna have yet another kobe and lebron matchup an 84 overall Shaq, who is quite literally worse than zach randolph wait um yeah i don't i don't think that's uh i don't think kevin garnett's supposed to be on the how did that happen Kevin garnett has been a blazer for two seasons they did not win last year i know for a fact so he does no rings it's 2010 and it might be time
time for wait uh, it might be time for lebron to upset him yeah no no it's it's a 4-1 see lebron miami in the finals tim duncan's team but we're talking kevin garnett and kobe dog okay it's 2-2 3-2 in favor of kobe and that's it kobe bryant finals mvp he wins his second ring so him and jordan have a combined five i'm pretty sure he has yeah two and oh seven and ten and michael jordan i'm pretty sure one in oh four oh five and oh eight five oh six and oh eight all right yeah there you go whatever Shaq has officially retired from lebron's team there he is all the fame inductee and lebron james has left the los angeles lakers for the atlanta hawks now i don't know what the hell they got going on over there in atlanta that is his decision and he has made it i don't see anybody else as a free agent he must have had a player option a year earlier i mean obviously i see all these guys but i mean from his draft class who is in atlanta i feel like i maybe just saw someone sign there aside from him i don't know am i lying uh lamarcus aldrich jason terry i mean it's definitely i don't know who the lakers might have signed let's see karan butler but yeah i mean probably better than the lakers without shaq i guess we'll see so la it's been real after all those years of lebron and shaq the most insane pairing you guys end up with not a single ring at least after i removed kobe from your team because you, you still have the two from before the era started all right the modern day nobody cares shout out to devin booker because donovan mitchell broke his record of 70 points with 71 i'm pretty sure i don't think i've recorded since then marcus cousins sacramento rookie of the year mari stoudemire six man of the year with the heat which is kind of odd because he's a 90 i guess tim duncan's there screw it lebron wins dpoi mo cheeks wins coach of the year looking real young devin harris all nba first team and here we are the playoffs jazz loss and the hawks just lost in the first round to the bobcats that is the ultimate loss you could possibly take they lost by 40 almost 40 in game seven to jamal crawford and the bobcats all right so we got a chris bosh and uh and kobe bryant matchup we're, we're gonna assume that the kg kobe team's gonna win but who knows no they're down 3-1 and they have lost daryl cardinal an undrafted seven-year pro averaging 29 points in this playoff run and chris bosh who had 36 and 15 himself with a better duo than kg and kobe one of them dropping a triple double and the other one dropping 26 and 10 and the grizzlies are now down 3-1 in the finals i just clicked the button to simulate it and they're getting cooked by kevin durant kyle lowry kevin love charlie villanueva and lou will that is one hell of a team wait it's two and it's over kevin durant finals mvp so kd is a champion before everybody except for kobe and mj and also i believe that was chris bosh's second finals loss because he lost to jordan rookie of the year jimmy butler weird okay first round i don't think any of our teams got injured i mean in yeah injured sure but the second round carmelo anthony was playing kobe and he got his revenge he's been getting beat down every single year by a different team oh wait wait what i might not thought to check the free agency first of all dwayne wade was on the nugget dwayne wade now i i i, uh, I was wrong about Melo. Melo's not even on this team anymore and nobody's on the nuggets and jordan's on the bulls oh yeah we just hit free agency year hold on carmelo anthony is now on the rockets michael jordan is now on the heat so lebron is playing kd and uh the, regardless the matchups have not changed jordan's heat lost in the first round or no they lost in the second round he played lebron and lost in game seven by eight points and Melo's new houston team lost in the first round to the spurs so that's our only changes there all right well conference finals and lebron is currently down 3-1 to kd oh no it's about to happen again he did it he just did it lebron wins by game uh, by five points in game seven kevin durant blows a 3-1 lead to lebron and lebron is now playing Dwayne wade in the final who has stolen Melo's spot in utah and i saw eddie curry still on the team first game a win for lamarcus aldridge 33 points they win by 20. second game though is going to go back to utah by 12 points ricky rubio dropped 33 next game to the hawks quentin richardson had 21 a team leading 21 michael beasley hello a win for utah we're tied 2-2 they win by 20 Dwayne wade had 38 and 11 another win for utah by 10 points lebron had 32 but d wade had 39 so Dwayne wade i mean obviously we're gonna have a new champion but d wade's on the verge of beating lebron in the finals when they're actually supposed to be in the same team right now and he is going to do it d wade nba champion 30 points eight assists and lebron takes a finals loss d wade 94 our second finals loss actually d wade 94 overall 27 points per game to win finals mvp ray allen retired on that note no oh, well that's pretty ironic ron james hawks wins mvp all the teams are in the playoffs will you do some though heat get eliminated so that is uh jordan's out of here seven seed and 
all of our teams are playing in the Western Conference and the Rockets are out of here. Carmelo loses to Bosch and the Blazers. Kobe loses to Wade. Braun is still alive on the right side and he loses, as I said, that immediately to KD. In game seven, Dwayne Wade is going to defeat Carmelo in, or Chris Bosch. So D-Wade looking to repeat, just not against LeBron, who, who wasn't able to come back down 3-1 this year. And if I had to take a wild guess, he'll do it. But my wild guess might be wild because, um, oh, screw it. Oh, they lost. Kevin Durant, 24 points. They lost by 40 points in game seven. D Wade at 27, but nobody else held up, their, uh, held up their end of the bargain. To be fair, this team has Kevin Love, KD, Gallinari, Lou Will, jo John Walk, and Kyle Lowry, and Marcus Thornton. Oh, yeah, come on now, dog. And and now Jefferson, chilling on the bench. LeBron James has left the Atlanta Hawks for the Brooklyn Nets, who actually probably just turned Brooklyn around this time. Uh, yeah, but da ba doo. I don't care, Gilbert Arenas. Click the button. Pockets eliminated. Uh, Jazz out of here. Grizzlies. Oh, look at that. Nets and uh, Kobe versus LeBron in the final. 3 1 and 4 1. Kobe Bryant just 4 1. LeBron out of here. This is LeBron's third finals loss and Kobe's, I believe, third finals win, right? Right? Hold on. Yeah. 2014. What the heck? He's still 18. He, wait, wait, wait. He's still 18. How old is LeBron? Hold on. LeBron's 29. Please just at the very least go and make him 29. His birth year is 18. That's not, that's not a thing. He just made him born in 1976 and that made him 29 in 2014. Is that correct? No, that's like 10 years off. I don't know. 2K is just tweaking. Kevin Garnett's 38. Well, there goes Kobe's third ring. It might be one of his last if KG retires anytime soon. Tony Parker has joined Chris Bosh in uh, Memphis. Michael Jordan has left the Heat and he is now on the Pistons with Kawhi Leonard and Anthony Davis who are both on rookie contract that man jordan just pulled the kd lebron james Jokic, hey jeremy linman's most improved player also in brooklyn i don't know a couple basketball teams just got eliminated and we still got a bunch of them in here the grizzlies are out of here i think this is another jordan and kobe matchup many years down the line i'm pretty sure they're tied right now three to three on championships i just wanted to see if game one would be close game one it was a 21 point win for michael despite kobe having 10 more points than him in the game itself all right this one went to ot i'm sorry but they are 2-0 now the Pistons and it looks like this is going to be 3-0 right here Michael Jordan 13 point win and a 4-0 sweep for 31 year old 23 10 assist Michael Jordan and uh Corey Maggette obviously this team is also stacked to the brim they also have rookie Joel Embiid so they have Joel Jordan AD and Kawhi that is one of the greatest I was about to say it's one of the greatest defensive teams they have Gobert on the bench he was the first pick over Giannis they could have had Giannis they this this would have been the greatest team of all time if they just picked the honest and it already might be you could probably already argue it they even got nate robinson and javel mcgeeson on the bench come on now wait that's not javel that's jake oh kevin oh, wait kevin garnett wasn't even on the team i gotta respect kobe for making it back i mean they had elton brand but we're, we're, we're not just gonna you know gloss over kg not being there Melo and kobe just left their team kobe has went to miami and carmelo anthony went to the celtics lebron again at nick's legend already they're also wait they never changed their jersey they're still wearing did they i don't know i feel like we didn't have that blue stripe on that side at any point in the past 10 years you know that's definitely wrong and it's funny because every other team seems to be correct also most of our guys just went over to the eastern conference there goes mellow losing oh the jazz speaking of the west they lost and the nets i just realized what just happened oh it was a three-point game lebron lost to jordan yet again unless last time lebron actually won i can't remember and rudy gobert had zero points on 0 for 6 shooting but they still won who the hell is n lee Nye Onion. oh screw it yeah good job all right kd against jordan and both of our teams won that means that we got oh did i forget to get rid of control of the grizzlies no i'm an idiot chris bosh is staring right back at me he's right there okay so this is like the fourth jordan and chris bosh matchup in the finals and we already know mike's gonna win yep 4-1 michael jordan that's his fifth championship right yeah five safe to say he's done pretty well well, well in the modern era honestly i forgot that was the point of the video i don't know i've just been aimlessly simulating i always like reach a point in the video Video where i forget what's going on and i'm just like the circus monkey with the two bongos in his hand that like has no clue what's going on braun went back to the lakers no they're, they're not bongos i had to google it it's symbols and chris bosh left this team too must have hurt me let's be honest we don't care what chris bosh is doing anyways uh he's on the spurs kevin durant wins an mvp probably well deserved he's been making a lot of finals appearances and such and look at that the pistons lost in the second round to the wizards and nick batum and guess what lebron is playing chris bosh and lebron won and he 
he's playing his old team in the finals who by the way have chris paul now although he's like two teams removed and back in la they also have jabari parker in la honestly this should be an easy ring for bron his team is much better three one don't blow no three oh lee lebron james finals mvp he gets his ring but at this point i think the only two players to not have a ring is Melo and bosh which seems pretty canon sorry chris but you know probably wouldn't have got one if it wasn't for the big three but hey you, you're a part of it so you know there you go yo i don't know what crack this league is on right now with players leaving their teams Did i see michael jordan's on the warriors wait no no what he he is I'm not even in the playoff i give up i'm gonna just go to the finals matchup to this point and see what happens the pistons they don't even have mike anymore and they made it anyways they have the big three of Kawhi, ad and joel they could have just kept michael jordan oh i don't know just maybe just keep michael jordan let's see can lebron beat this team without jordan game seven screw it we'll see what happens he just won by three points in the finals 24 points to win another finals mvp for lebron james kyle lowry i'm I have zero surprise at this he's always good in 2k the lakers are playing the warriors first round so that means lebron just beat jordan finally and carmelo anthony and steph curry celtics which oh yeah i was entirely i saw that steph was on the team with him but for some reason he capped out in an 88 uh sucks yeah sorry buddy we got the same matchup again lebron can you beat the pistons yet again it is two to two pistons up three to two and lebron loses to anthony davis i, I just i just realized that correlation too all right so now lebron just just journey man in it huh like even more than real life oh but is zion's here you know i will say this is the first year in a long time where or at least like a very rare year where neither of our quote-unquote or guys are in the finals we got a boogie and paul george led team against derrick rose and blake griffin and Jokic. A very in interesting uh you know led with a bunch of injury prone players matchup and paul george your finals mvp who would have thunk aaron aflalo retired no oh, look who it is chris bosh in the finals again wait i'm actually rooting for him though i know i said earlier i don't care but oh he's gonna lose he lost again he's lost like four or five times and it's 18 years pro has like four finals appearances not a ring not a ring in sight and the pistons go back to or whatever they win again that is it wow that is really it jesus dwayne wade chris bosh and michael jordan have all retired i don't see mellow or obviously lebron or uh or kobe i mean to be fair kobe was stuck in a time capsule or whatever you know that the, was stuck in the thing that link was stuck in when you start breath of the wild when he's in the time chamber for 100 years that there's a look at our hall of famers numbers if you wanted to you know say jordan averaged 27 points chris bosh 11 rebounds dwayne wade a cool eight assists with his 24 jordan also eight assists you can see dwayne wade won one ring that's nice five for jordan also 15 defensive first teams although uh, no mvps for any of them despite his five rings and five finals mvps won all five of them and you got braun over here who won nine mvps and two championships back to back and obviously alongside bosh winning no rings you have uh, Carmelo Anthony, who also did not win a ring yet again. Also, he wasn't he was the only one to not even get a finals appearance. I don't even I don't even know where Kobe's at, honestly. Did he already retire like years ago? And I just didn't really no, there he is. Kobe three-time champion, no MVPs, only one time first team all NBA, but you know, you finished when you needed to. Yeah, three championships from him, the second most. What does that mean? They combined for like uh I think nine rings, if I'm counting correctly. Real quick, as Braun had 59. Oh wow, Chris Bosch had 61 points in a playoff game in 2014 jesus he was the last person i expected to see all the way up there lebron is number one in points all time 40,245 and this is only after 18 years I'm not gonna say only but you know is it 18 or is it yeah yeah 18 seasons and granted he hasn't missed any games jordan is third after tracy mcgrady who i didn't see do anything this entire time Kobe is fourth Melo is seventh chris bosh is 10th and Dwayne wade is 11th two goals made number one is michael that's the cheat code kyle lowry short and stout but he's number one in three pointers made it was kind of crazy even in the simulation kyle corver is very high up in three-point percentage hell same with steve novak and jose calderon in the simulation which this isn't even fully him technically it's, it's, a, it's a fake created jose calderon is number one in free throw percentage and if you know jose you know he has one of the highest free throw percentage shooting seasons ever which is funny because like we still recount it like anybody cares but nobody probably cared during the actual season it happened except for the Ra raptors broadcast television crew but yeah that's it that's what would happen if michael jordan was in the 2003 draft as well as Kobe Bryant they would actually have the first and second most rings out of everybody and to be fair that's how it is in real life too that's it thank you for watching it's been real it's been fun but it ain't been real fun let's get seven subscribers gained on this video for the amount of rings that I won in the 80s I'll catch you in the next one Bye.